Hey, sourcers and recruiters out there, Tony Steeman here, Sourcing and Research Manager at the Novo Group, and I'm back with another Sourcing Tips video. Today we're not covering a Sourcing and Research tool, we're actually going to be covering uh, how to use SharePoint 2013, or the cloud, as people like to call it, to have document collaboration across your teams. I don't know about you, but I get really tired of the old method of, of using uh, shared documents. Someone would download it, edit it reload it back to an intranet and then someone else would have to download it, edit it, reload it back into the intranet and it creates a huge problem and a lot of lost information uh, because uh, when one person needs to edit it, the other person can't edit it and things like that. And so thank goodness we have the cloud and thank goodness we have SharePoint 2013. And so if you follow the methods in this video, by the end you'll be able to uh, create documents in the cloud on SharePoint, share them with your specific team on a project, and collaborate across a document in a live method, um, and have uh, no worries about lost information along the way. So on the front is my email address if you have any questions. Also included is Amy Haig, a special guest in this video. So let's go ahead and dive in to the video live example of document collaboration on SharePoint 2013 in the cloud. Okay, so I'm ready for the live example of collaboration or team collaboration using SharePoint 2013. So uh, here at the Novo Group, we recently updated to SharePoint 2013, which allows us to have this feature. And a key part of that process uh, was one of my favorite people at Novo, and that is a recruiting coordinator, recruiting coordinator named Amy Haig. And Amy has been kind enough to uh, join us on the call today. How are you doing, Amy? I'm doing well, Tony. How are you? I am doing good. Thank you for asking. I'm enjoying a sunny day here in Ohio. Um, and uh, Amy's official title, like I said, recruiting coordinator, but I call her the master of all things Novo because she really uh, does a little bit of everything and it really helps us uh, stay moving in the right direction. And I appreciate it a lot. So thanks again for joining us, Amy. Thank you for having me, Tony. For sure. So what Amy and I are going to show off here in our uh, test client, this screen is um, obviously SharePoint uh, 2013, our internal database here. And I have a test client set up and we're gonna be showing some collaboration with a research tracking template that I use to track uh, some of our sourcing and research efforts. Um, now, the first thing I'm gonna do is you can actually, if you're using Internet Explorer, create a new Word document or Excel document or PowerPoint document right in uh, SharePoint 2013. But since I use Google Chrome, it's actually going to air out for me and say I need a Microsoft compatible Office product or basically Internet Explorer before I can uh, before I can do that. But what I an, an alternative to that is I actually keep my templates on my desktop and uh, upload those templates directly to SharePoint. I can do that in Chrome and I can edit the documents in Chrome. So if you use Chrome, it's really just a quick workaround and you're actually able to get a lot of good results. Um, now, the first thing I want to do is if Amy and I are on a team together working on a research tracking document or a document that we just need to edit at uh, different points throughout the, the life cycle of a project, I need to share that document with Amy. So what I'm going to do is click this little checkbox right here and just hit the share button. And then all I have to simply do is type in Amy's name and Amy pops up there. And I give her permission to either view the document or edit the document. And since we're going to be collaborating together, I'm going to let her edit the document. Now I can include a personal message just to write research video test so she knows what it is. And I can just simply hit share. And now Amy has full access to that document and she'll be getting a email that says so. And all she'll have to do is click on the link to access the document. Now, if you're using an older version of Office on your computer and you click the document, it will automatically download. And it's kind of an archaic method because it actually downloads, then you have to type the changes you want to make. There's no collaboration. You have to re-upload it to SharePoint. If you're using a new version, it will automatically open the document in Word Online. But in all methods, if you simply click these three dots right here, I believe those, are those ellipses, Amy? Is that what those are called? I believe so. <laughs> okay, we'll take a good guess. If you click those, um, then simply hit edit or edit in browser. It will actually open up the document for you 
in a version of Word Online. And what you're seeing is a fully featured version of Microsoft Word that opens up in the cloud. And the reason that you want to use this when collaborating with the team is because all changes are automatically saved. So my computer is running a little bit slow with the screen capture software, so I apologize for that. Um, but once you're inside of here, uh, Amy, have you started editing the document yet? I have. Oh, there you go. See, it says it will <laughs> tell you all the people who are editing the document. So it pops up with a little notification that says Amy Hag is editing the document. And this little red icon in the middle of the screen is Amy. Um, so Amy is going to bounce around and start editing the document. And the great thing about this team collaboration is that anything Amy does is not going to interfere with what I need to do for this document. So if I gave Amy the assignment, please fill out the top portion of the research tracking template while I start doing research, then I can bounce right down here and at the same time start to type in my research strings. If I can spell today. Now, the really cool part of this is that we never have to click save. So if I go over here and hit file and try to save it, it says there's no save button. There's no save button because we're automatically saving your document. And what this means is it's automatically being saved on SharePoint in the cloud. Now, if I want to download a copy or download a PDF, I can do that. But other than that, I can continue to collaborate with Amy for days, weeks, and months on this project, however long it takes. We continue to add to this document, continue to track all of our research efforts. This can be used for scorecards, for dashboards, uh, anything like that. It can actually be used for any of the Office programs. So Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint. You can actually have those documents in here and do great team collaboration. If you think about the old method of using uh, SharePoint, it was really archaic, right? And you had to download the document, you had to physically type, hope that someone else on your team didn't need it at the same time because they would be locked out of it, and you would have to resave it to the server, then let someone else update it. And in this case, the entire team, you can add as many people as you want to this document, can actually edit in Word Online in real time without interfering with each other, and it actually all saves on the cloud, so you don't have to worry about losing your information. Uh, so once again, this has been Tony Steeman, uh, Sourcing and Research Manager with the Novo Group. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for our video, Amy. Thank you again. Thank you for having me, Tony. You're very welcome. And I hope you'll take a chance to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a lot of great uh, sourcing and research videos on there. And then also share it on your social media as well. Uh, thanks so much, and I hope you have a great day.